15 Scary Facts About Witches, Delving Into the World of Darkness and Enchantment Witches have fascinated and terrified people for centuries. They are often associated with supernatural powers, the ability to manipulate the natural world, and the potential to cause harm or misfortune. Through the ages, these mysterious figures have been both feared and revered, with their influence extending from folklore to pop culture. This video will explore 15 scary facts about witches, providing insights into their history, practices, and impact on society. By doing so, it aims to shed light on the lesser-known aspects of witchcraft and reveal the extent of their dark and enchanting powers. The Origins of Witches and Witchcraft The concept of witches and witchcraft dates back thousands of years, with evidence of witch-like figures appearing in ancient societies such as Mesopotamia, Egypt, and Greece. These early accounts often describe witches as powerful and feared individuals, capable of casting spells and harnessing the forces of nature for their purposes. However, the modern conception of witches as agents of evil can be traced back to the medieval period in Europe, when witch hunts and trials became increasingly prevalent. Fueled by religious and political tensions, these events perpetuated the idea of witches as sinister figures who conspired with the devil to wreak havoc on society. 2. The Witch Trials of the Early Modern Period between the 15th and 18th centuries, the phenomenon of witch hunts and trials swept across Europe and the American colonies. Fueled by a widespread belief in the threat posed by witches, these events led to the execution of tens of thousands of people, most of whom were women. The infamous Salem Witch Trials in Massachusetts in 1692 are a particularly chilling example, with 20 people executed and over 200 accused of practicing witchcraft. These trials were fueled by mass hysteria, fear, and the desire to purge communities of perceived evil forces. 3. The Malleus Maleficarum. Written in 1486 by Heinrich Kramer and Jacob Sprenger, the Malleus Maleficarum, Latin for, the Hammer of Witches, was an influential treatise on witchcraft that contributed to the widespread persecution of alleged witches during the witch hunts of the early modern period. The book laid out the supposed methods by which witches operated, such as making pacts with the devil, casting spells, and causing illnesses or misfortune. It also provided instructions for the identification, interrogation, and punishment of witches, effectively serving as a guidebook for witch hunters and inquisitors. 4. The Witch's Sabbath The Witch's Sabbath was a supposed nocturnal gathering of witches, during which they were believed to engage in various nefarious activities, such as worshipping the devil, casting spells, and feasting on the flesh of babies. These gatherings were believed to occur in remote locations, often under the cover of darkness, and were thought to involve the performance of elaborate rituals and dances. The witch's sabbath was a central element in the popular imagination of witchcraft and was often cited as evidence of the diabolical nature of witches and their activities. 5. Witchcraft and Shapeshifting Witches have long been associated with the ability to change their physical form, either through the use of spells or by harnessing the powers of their animal familiars. This shapeshifting ability allowed witches to take on various forms, such as cats, birds, or even insects, enabling them to move about undetected and carry out their sinister deeds. Shapeshifting also played a role in the myth of the werewolf, with some witches believed to possess the power to transform themselves into wolves or other fearsome creatures. This connection between witches and shapeshifting further contributed to their aura of mystery and terror. 6. The Witch's Familiar A witch's familiar was thought to be an animal companion, often a cat, toad, or bird, which served as an extension of the witch's powers and assisted in the performance of spells and rituals. Familiars were believed to be imbued with supernatural abilities and could communicate with their witch masters, providing guidance, protection, and aid in their magical endeavors. The presence of a familiar often served as evidence of witchcraft during witch trials, as it was believed that these creatures were gifts from the devil, solidifying the witch's pact with evil forces. 7. The Witch's Mark the witch's mark was a physical sign, such as a mole, birthmark, or scar, believed to indicate an individual's involvement in witchcraft. These marks were thought to be the devil's seal, marking the witch as his loyal servant. 
during which trials, accused individuals would often be examined for such marks, with any suspicious blemishes serving as evidence of their guilt. The witch's mark further perpetuated the idea of witches as marked and identifiable figures, perpetuating fear and suspicion within communities. 8. The Flying Ointment Witches were often associated with the ability to fly, and one of the ways they were believed to achieve this was through the use of a magical ointment, known as the flying ointment. This ointment was said to be made from a concoction of herbs and other ingredients, which, when applied to the body or a broomstick, enabled the witch to take to the skies. The concept of witches flying on broomsticks became a lasting and iconic image of witchcraft, further adding to their mystique and the fear they inspired. 9. Witchcraft and Weather Manipulation Throughout history, witches have been accused of manipulating the weather, causing storms, droughts, or other natural disasters to achieve their nefarious ends. This belief was likely fueled by the association between witches and their control over the forces of nature, as well as the very real fear of unpredictable and destructive weather events. Accusations of weather manipulation were common during witch trials, with individuals accused of using their powers to cause crop failures, floods, or other catastrophes. 10. The Witch's Cauldron The Witch's Cauldron is a classic symbol of witchcraft, often depicted as a large, black pot in which witches would brew their potions and cast their spells. The cauldron was believed to be a powerful magical tool, capable of transforming and combining ingredients to produce potent elixirs and enchanted substances. This image of the witch stirring her cauldron further contributed to the fear and fascination surrounding witchcraft, emphasizing the idea of witches as skilled and dangerous practitioners of dark arts. 11. The Use of Herbs and Potions in Witchcraft Witches were often believed to possess extensive knowledge of herbs, plants, and other natural substances, which they used to create powerful potions and concoctions. These substances were thought to have various effects, ranging from healing ailments to causing harm, and were a central aspect of witchcraft practices. This association between witches and herbal knowledge fostered both fear and admiration, as the use of herbs could potentially be used for both good and evil purposes. 12. Witchcraft and Curses Curses have long been a part of the witchcraft repertoire, with witches believed to possess the power to inflict harm or misfortune on others through the use of magical spells or rituals. These curses could take many forms, from causing illness or injury to bringing about financial ruin or relationship troubles. The fear of being cursed by a witch was a potent and widespread concern, with individuals often resorting to various protective measures, such as wearing amulets or engaging in counterspells, to ward off the potential harm inflicted by witches. 13. Witchcraft and Divination In addition to their supposed ability to cause harm or manipulate the natural world, witches were also believed to possess the power of divination, or the ability to foretell the future or reveal hidden knowledge. This skill was often attributed to witches through the use of various methods, such as reading tea leaves, casting bones, or interpreting dreams. The idea of witches possessing the power to predict and influence the future further heightened the fear and intrigue surrounding these enigmatic figures, as they were seen as possessing potentially dangerous and valuable information. 14. Witchcraft and Fertility Witches were often believed to have the power to influence fertility, both positively and negatively. They were thought to be able to bless or curse individuals, animals, or crops with fertility or barrenness, depending on their intentions. This belief led to witches being both sought after for their fertility-enhancing abilities and feared for their potential to cause devastating infertility. The power to control fertility further reinforced the idea of witches as powerful and potentially dangerous figures, capable of influencing life and death on a grand scale. 15. Witchcraft and Healing Despite the association of witches with harmful and malevolent activities, they were also often believed to possess healing powers. As skilled practitioners of herbal medicine, witches were thought to be able to cure illnesses, mend wounds, and alleviate pain. This dual nature of witches as both healers and harm bringers contributed to the complex and multifaceted image of witchcraft in society, fostering a mixture of fear, admiration, and curiosity. Conclusion The world of witches is one of darkness, enchantment, and mystery.
Throughout history, witches have been both feared and revered for their supposed powers, which range from casting curses to healing the sick. As we have explored 15 scary facts about witches, it becomes clear that these enigmatic figures continue to captivate and terrify us, even in modern times. By delving into the shadowy world of witchcraft, we gain a greater understanding of the fears, beliefs, and cultural forces that have shaped our perceptions of these powerful and fascinating individuals.